So here's my uh, second HP85 unit, uh, already uh, restored the first one, uh, but I didn't take a video, so I'm going to try to uh, show I, how I do this one. And it uh, works fine, except the usual uh, problems on the tape and on the printer. Um, and uh, I'm going to uh, both uh, repair both of those two and also modify the tape so it can use the uh, uh, better uh, quick 2000 tape. Uh, so easy to open, you have screws at the bottom, already remove them, they are all around, there's five or six. And uh, no, it's a beautifully engineering unit made for maintenance. So. Ah, first you need to remove that, that's the eject button for the tape, and now it should pop right out, and it does. So here you go, you can tell how beautifully engineered a unit this is, so let's take a little tour. Okay, this one... Uh, looks worse but works better than the former unit I had. Uh, the screen works. You can tell the board uh, here is very clean. The logic boards are underneath the keyboard here but the, the keyboard have nothing to do it works fine too. The other one had some stuck keys. And the problem child uh, you can see right away. Uh, first for the printer the two belts just the graves and this one is hardly there still works but I need to change it and uh, the second one for paper advance it's all gone this one is kind of it's totally dead uh, those are very easy to change once you have the parts so I see something else is wrong with that one he never seen that before so that is not right the head is put on I believe backwards that shouldn't wrap around like this and get against this so something's wrong here and then uh, the tape unit uh, the capstan is shot as usual and I'll show you that later and then I want to make that uh, uh, change in 